<laughs> well, this should be it. I've been toying with you until now, and you have no cards in your hand. It was all for this moment. I tap one and play Giant Growth, making my monstrosity an 11-11. I tap one and play Spider Umbra, bringing it to 12-12 with reach. I tap three and play Savage Silhouette, bringing it to 14-14 with regenerate. Finally, I tap three and play Boar Umbra, bringing my monstrosity to a total 17-17 with reach, regenerate, totem armor, and trample. I'll attack with my monstrosity and cudgel troll, meaning that you have to defend with your griffin against my troll to survive with one health. I doubt you'll be able to come back from that. Poof. Dang. I don't think I have much left. <laughs> or do I? I play Costco Executive Membership at the cost of one of each mana type. This allows me to draw seven cards, and each card I play this round, I play at the wholesale value, which means it can be cast at the cost of one mana of any color. Ha! Yes! I drew exactly what I needed. I'm going to play Buff Pikachu for one mana, and I will use its instant ability Flash on your monstrosity. This will cause Pikachu to be put in the registry, but also will put the monstrosity in therapy, meaning it is exiled while it works through the trauma at the cost of one health at the end of each of your turns. I then play Ace of Spades, which immediately lets me play another card, which will be the Ace of Hearts. Their combined effect gives me a pair of aces, which I will activate on your Cudgel Troll. Your Cudgel Troll now thinks I was cheating in our poker game and will be in a Mexican standoff with my aces, meaning it will not untap at the start of your next turn. I play Portland to Nashville, and once that is completed, it will deal 17 damage directly to you. And I will complete it with the Pain Train, which auto-completes all train routes and adds one extra damage per chew, bringing the total to 19 damage. I then play Expired Health Insurance, which means you cannot heal any life points. And to top it all off, I play LDS Temple Recommend, making my side of the board exalted so none of my cards can be targeted by any earthly spell or effect. We are one hit point each. You have no cards in your hand, and you can't get rid of mine. With your monstrosity and therapy at the cost of one health point at the end of your turn, I think I win. Well, elves untap and I attack for one damage. I win. Frick, I forgot those don't have to tap for mana and you can just attack with them. Well, good game.